but let's give him some love. He has been on fire. Just an offensive aircraft carrier. I mean, this is homers. Pause this real quick. This is ribbies. This is some swing and miss, but we're going to get into month by month. I think it's starting to, to bother him, the swing and miss. So constant battle for adjustments for him, right? September 19, 2022, he's a little open. His hands are real pushed away from him. You come into this season, he's getting Framber Valdez. Maybe a little bit more in his legs, but pretty standard to how he's standing. A little bit open. Hands are a little bent, a little closer to him. Then July 20th of 2023 against Zach Allen. He's going to take him deep. He's kind of a hybrid of both of them. Whatever it takes for him to feel the inside of his back leg, he's a toe tap guy. There's a lot of moving parts going on, but when it's synced up right, it's homers and ribbies. Let's get into it. Give me a side angle of him. So I'll take you back. 2009, pause. Run that back just a smidge. I mean, we talk about arm barring. This right arm right here. As a right-handed hitter, be your left. This is a bad position for a lot of people to be in. I mean, that's almost a golf position where you're trying to create width. There's usually a little bit more athletic bend in the elbow where you can fire this hand. So this is him in 2019. And then I'll show you a side angle of him now. Run this. I mean, the stretch, the reach, and that's an opposite field homer in Kaufman, which no one does at night. Three zero count the other day against Zach Allen. We're also going to put up some boards because you're going to see common theme here. None of these balls are being pulled. We know he's got that in the back pocket. He can go chop house whenever he wants. But his ability to stay through the baseball, not get rotational, not come around and be that ground out to second base. Mm. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Little backdoor cutter. Mm. Oh. All right, bring up, bring up the stuff by, yes. The pull percentage boards last five seasons. He was almost Ooh. a pull 50% of the time. The numbers don't lie. 34.4% of the time he's pulling the baseball. He's made an honest effort to stay through it. So what is he trying to do, right? We talk about it all the time. He's talked about, I don't want to get back here and then collide forward. Cody Bellinger, static position. It works for him. Might not work for Matt Olson. Collide, nothing going back. If I'm going to get back here, I want to stay back here, sit, and present my hands, not sway back and forth. Run this. Mm. It's all pitches. Good Lord. Yeah. It's fastballs. It's breaking balls. It's a gorgeous stroke. Pause. There you go. That, that's what you're striving for at home, kids. Right there. He is stacked on the inside of this back leg. This knee never gets beyond this foot. Once it does, you start to get sway. Less of an arm bar? Way less of an arm bar, Robert. Way more athletic move. Go. Pause. Oof. Wow. I mean, if he's got barrel accuracy, the ball's going out of the ballpark. Run it. Oh, that's good stuff right there. I've been told I have great barrel accuracy. Hey, well. bring up, bring up the Otani board. A lot of people. A lot of people, yeah. Hitters with a 500-plus slug on all three pitch types. Wow. There's two guys. Jeez. Matt Olson, now, if you were the number one starter for the Braves, <laughs> we'd get, we would get, get it, but you're not. $600 million. <laughs> all right, get back into it. He's been awesome for this team. One, one of the boards, and the reason Roflo brought this up in the open, there's a couple boards, exit velo, barrel percentage, and what are you seeing here? Two strikes, getting some knocks, shortening the swing down a little bit. Bring up the last board, and I'll make my last point and throw it back. Mm. Boom. 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 Hey, we got it. It's firing. It's a lot of those are with two strikes, okay? So check out the whiff percentage by month. 
Wow. He's made an honest effort to stop punching out. And we see a lot of these boards exit velo. He walks a ton. He's got good barrel percentage. Some of the names on that board punch out every other AB. So you can take that one and throw it out the door for me. If it doesn't have some type of strikeout percentage factored in, I could get Willie Mopena to analytically just hit the ball as hard as anyone in the game. But I need you to be a factor.